next is a d pharmacy pharmaceutics one class subject code 1.1 p unit 5 in this class we are going to discuss immunological products for passive immunization particularly antitoxins and uh, diphtheria antitoxin under this so first of all immunological products for passive immunization what is this so these products uh, contain antibodies uh, which produces passive immunity and uh, the preparations are mainly used for treatments of diseases or for immediate uh, profile access when a person or animal has been actively immunized uh, either by natural or artificial means the blood contains a large number of antibodies and they, the, when the blood is withdrawn and it is allowed to clot the antibodies are found uh, in the serum the serum is called as antitoxin when the antibody uh, if the antibodies it contains are antitoxin and the serum is called anti serum if the antibodies in it are antibacterial antibodies similarly if the antibodies are antiviral the serum is known as antiviral serum so generally among animals uh, horse is majorly used uh, and the parenteral administration of the products of animal origin it may lead to immediate or delayed hypersensitivity reaction sometimes we can uh, experience a different um, kind of anaphylaxis or serum sickness the pro uh, products of human origin are preferred to those of animal origin because they rarely cause allergic reactions uh, next we are going to discuss antitoxins and uh, among these antitoxins uh, according to indian pharmacopoeia we will discuss diphtheria antitoxin now diphtheria antitoxin is a colorless and uh, faintly yellow or slight opalescent liquid and um, the preparation of diphtheria antitoxin is again uh, there are many stages in the preparation uh, majorly there is uh, notably five different stages are there among them uh, the first stage is preparation of toxin for active immunization of the horse uh, a pure culture of uh, corine bacterium diphtheria it is grown in a suitable culture media around 37 degrees centigrade for 4 to 7 days and after incubation period a 0.5% of phenol is added and the culture media is filtered uh, through bacteria proof filters <clears throat> then the filtrate is a crude toxin and it is converted to toxoid into toxoid then selection of the horse now why, why horse is selected uh, there are many reasons to select a uh, horse and uh, we're slowly going to discuss the reasons first of all horses are easy to handle and uh, it produces antitoxins readily and uh, it resembles uh, the natural immunity of uh, human against diphtheria the rbc of horse blood it uh, settles quickly and it also packs tightly this property helps in the separation of the serum and uh, considerable volume of blood can be taken at a time without feeling the ill effect uh, the anyway the selected horse must be free from any kind of diseases and for this purpose the horses are isolated uh, in a particular place for seven days with under careful supervision and uh, they're inspected regularly examined regularly and uh, they are immunized against tetanus by injecting tetanus toxin and then um, the active immunization of the horse the third step uh, to the selected horses diphtheria toxoid is given for active immunization and the toxoid is given by intramuscular route and uh, with gradually increasing doses uh, starting from about 5 ml and uh, second injection is given after the interval of 2 to 3 days by doubling the volume each time and uh, by the end of this process the last dose is around 600 ml the fourth stage is separation of serum from the horse generally after uh, 10 days of final dose the blood is collected under aseptic condition and uh, it is uh, to see that uh, whether to check that adequate antitoxin has been formed or not around 8 liters of blood is collected uh, three times during a period of eight days and after a rest of uh, around two weeks further injection of diphtheria toxoid can be given as per the uh, proper schedule to stimulate the production of antibodies and again 24 liters of blood is collected in uh, three different batches uh, of eight liters each 
the process is again repeated, uh, but uh, it should not be repeated for more than four to five times. And then uh, after collection of blood, it is allowed to clot and uh, for separating the serum. The serum contains antitoxins along with other proteins uh, like beta globulins, gamma globulins, albumins, etc. Uh, then the final stage is concentration and refinement. Horse serum it contains a high concentration of several other proteins which may uh, cause some undesirable effect, undesirable uh, reactions like anaphylactic shock or serum sickness and uh, the undesirable proteins are separated can be separated by there are two different methods and the first method we are going to discuss is concentration by fractional precipitation in this case the serum is mixed with uh, sufficient ammonium sulfate which uh, produces around 25 to 33 percent of saturation and the gamma globulin is precipitated uh, again which is separated and is guarded. The more ammonium sulfate is added to produce around 50% of saturation, where the beta globulin along with the antitoxin is precipitated. Then the serum is filtered to remove the liquid uh, portion which contains the albumin and the filtrate is rejected. The precipitates are subjected to dialysis against uh, sterile water to separate ammonium sulfate. So finally we get the uh, antitoxins. Uh, the precipitates are passed into the solution which containing 0.3% of trichresol uh, or any other preservative um, or the preparation is uh, freeze, uh, freeze dried without any preservative. The antitoxin activity, activity of the serum is increased uh, only about four times. Uh, and then the second method, uh, in this method, uh, concentration by fractional proteolytic digestion. Here, the serum is uh, diluted three times in its, uh, with its own volume, of its own volume with the normal saline solution, solution, where the pepsin is added and the pH is adjusted around four, and it is incubated for around two days at 37 degrees centigrade. And the gamma globulin is precipitated, uh, which is separated by filtration. And the filtrate is subjected to special ultrafilter the transparent liquid is obtained, which contains a purified concentrated antitoxins together with beta globulin. In this way, the antitoxin activity of the original serum is increased about eight times. Diphtheria antitoxin has a potency of not less than 1000 international units per ml in case of uh, antitoxin obtained from horse serum and not less than 500 international units per ml uh, for antitoxin obtained from other animals. Storage of these uh, things is around, uh, diphtheria antitoxin is around, uh, must be done with two to eight degrees centigrade and uh, it should not be allowed to be frozen. And the dose is generally by subcutaneous or intramuscular injection uh, for prophylactic uh, cases, uh, 500 to 2000 international units. And uh, for therapeutic cases, it should not be not less than uh, 10,000 international units. So that's all for this class. In my next class, I'm going to discuss tetanus antitoxin. Thank you.